St. Labray Indian School. While traveling in Montana, I had the opportunity to tour the St. Labray Catholic Indian School in Ashland. The tour guide is Barry Howell. Our three campuses. This is our large school. This is the main. 132 high school, 152 mm -hmm. middle school, 132 K4, mm -hmm. 152 at Pretty Eagle, K12, and 139, I think, at St. Charles. Local here, all local artisans. Oh, those are very lovely. I'd like to take those home. What can you tell me about St. Lebray? Was the beggar saint? This was the children of um, shopkeepers in France in the mm -hmm. 1700s. <clears throat> he had a calling to be a priest, so his mom had a brother that was a priest, so uncle came and got him and started training him to be a priest. So he figured it was God's calling for him to be among the people. Mm -hmm. So he roamed among people helping the sick or dying. And one of his many pilgrimages to Rome for the feast days of saints and he uh, went up the church steps and he collapsed. What is this book? It has a list of all the donors. Look at it and see. This is given that recognition to the donor. Hey, we're in our last day of summer school here. All the buildings built in the four directions. Uh -huh. uh, the four phases of life. The four seasons. Everything we have to do is the fours. Mm -hmm. We utilize natural lighting. This hotel is pretty warm. In some kind of winter time, that's really warm. The time here. The gym. It puts graduations, dances, every social or community event in the area we have here. Mm -hmm. We have an art room there and a computer lab right there. Every Wednesday, we give out a food box to families that. Um, for a family of four for a week. Yes, we've had one just graduate from MIT last, this past month. Mm -hmm. We have they go all the way from MIT. Is, Mm -hmm. But now it's um, kitchen offices and our director of uh, our curriculum person that side. Of it. We teach Crow language, Northern Cheyenne language. Uh, we have a beating institute. This is the high school. We average about 20 to 25 high school graduates. Huh. You say this is the eighth grade down here? Yeah, we've got them all over. So. Without them, we wouldn't exist. 
And we have donors come in, we invite them to graduation if they come in. This is our newest building in the dorm, the dormitory. It opened in 2011. Construction started in 2010.